Today we're looking at the Hair Serenity. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, this is supposed to be one of the quietest window units you can get. So we're going to try and figure out what makes it so quiet. First, let's take a look at all the normal basic components and just see where everything is. So we'll start with the compressor here. Here's the hot gas line coming out, going into the condenser coil. Comes out of the condenser coil down here, splits into these two capillary tubes, does these two loops. Uh, I wish I knew what these loops are for. People just say that they're to use up space, but in every air conditioner I've looked at, it's always this one perfect loop. Seems like there's some purpose for that. Um, then it goes into, goes through to the inside side. Here on the inside side, those two capillary tubes end up in this evaporator coil. The air gets blown out over the evaporator coil into the conditioned space. Then the return suction line comes back through here, back around there, and then back up, and then into the this thing that I think separates out the liquid to make sure only gas makes it into the compressor, and then back into the compressor. So very standard stuff, but let's see what makes it so quiet. Well, the most obvious thing is this blanket around the entire compressor. Interestingly, it's not sealed in at all. It's just sort of sitting there. Um, I've seen one on ones on outdoor units that are completely air sealed up, but I guess this just helps absorb some of the noise. Uh, really, the, I think the most important difference in this one is if you look at, here's the fan that blows over the condensing coil. It has no shaft coming out of it. So on the cheaper air conditioner, there was a shaft coming out of the back of the fan blade axle that led through to the inside side and then there was another fan on the inside side connected to that same shaft. By not having the shaft here and by having two separate motors, you can have two different fans so you don't have any of the restrictions that they have to both spin at the same speed. You don't have any of the vibrations traveling along that shaft. You don't have the opening here with the shaft to go through that lets some of the noise from the outside in. Um, and probably, most importantly, you can pick a really nice fan like this one. So I think a lot of the noise on these kinds of fans comes from the wing tips because they're going so quick. Um, with this, the, you have this long linear drive part so it can spin slower and just push the air more quietly. On here, I also noticed a great feature, which is that they've added these little weights. I think these weights are to balance that out, just like the weights on your car tire, just to stop any possible vibrations on this spinning thing. Uh, another interesting thing I noticed on the compressor blades are these little ridges. I don't know if those are for strength or if those do something for noise control. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know. Some other interesting features on here, probably not related to noise control, are the subcooling that happens here. So this bottom, bottom part of the condensing coil is sitting in this tray and the condensate is sitting in there. So that subcools the liquid before it goes back into the evaporator. Um, up here, an interesting thing happens. This is the hot gas line coming out of the compressor. It gets split here and makes two different trips across the condenser coil. So those two circuits start here, go like this, and then they split up and the top one goes along the top and the bottom one goes along the bottom, but they're both along the back of the condenser. So those, the hot gas is touching the air right before it exhausts to the outside world. Um, and then the inner part of the run is picking up the colder side of the air before it's gotten heated up. And so you're gonna, trying to get the coldest possible liquid coming through here before it goes into the subcooling. Thought that was an interesting feature. Um, and maybe the split is just so that it can cover more surface area on the back with uh, one full run of the whole thing. Or maybe it has to do with the fact that the gas has more volume when it's hot here and you don't need as much volume so you can recombine it back down here. Um, if anybody knows, let me know. So that's the hair. Till next time.